Good afternoon, everyone. Glad to see you out there. Glad you can see me. Praise be to God. Uh, I'm going to be reading a little bit out of 2 Corinthians 4 today. And Cora, this is for you, Cora Brown. You always have the best inspirational prayers every single morning. And I thank God for that. You know, when you wake up and you give Him the honor, praise, and glory, then you read your prayer. It's just, it just makes life worth living, Cora Brown. I want you to know I love you. Thank you for the beautiful blessing over Jamie's life. And we're going to miss her, but we know that Colorado's waiting for her because God's out there too. Praise the Lord. And she will be leaving in a couple of days. So just everybody keep praying for her and our family as we pray for you and yours. So we'll probably me and Jamie will probably do a video together before she leaves. But anyway, let me go straight to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And I'm going to go to verse 8. We are hard pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. For we who are alive are always being given over to death for Jesus' sake, so that his life may be revealed in our mortal body. So then death is at work in us, but life is at work in you. And we're going to skip on down to 16, and it says, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Let me break it down for you. These things in our life on this earth are very, very temporary. But we do have eternal life that is permanent. Hallelujah. I went to the cancer center today for my monthly visit, and it was just, it's always good to see the people there and to share with them my, my testimony and for, for them to share theirs with me. It gives me hope and inspiration. And even when I look on Facebook and see my friend Jessica and, and all that she's been through and, and Shannon and just different ones, not just with cancer, but, but trials and tribulations who have come out on top, then when I read passages like this, it just gives me more hope and hope and hope. And my prayer warriors and people who, who always send me healing things like Sylvia and Panquita and Princess and people who won't even speak the word cancer into my life or for my life or about my life. And the beautiful prayer that First Lady Evangelist Mary Sloan said over me, you know, all of that's important to me. It truly is, but not just me, but for everyone. But my doctor told me today, I was asking him about a procedure that is specifically for uh, the type of cancer in the lungs that I know about. That, but I'm not claiming. And he was saying that I was not a good candidate for that because, because what I have is scattered and what they like to treat is something that's centered around one area. But he told me, and these were his words, he said, I don't know what you're doing. He said, no, I do know what you're doing. He said, but keep on doing it. He said, because to look at you, he said, sometimes I just want to go back and look at the scans and see where the mistake was. Hallelujah. You think that don't put a smile on my face? A smile on my face, you know, because I'm glad somebody, I hope and pray, can see the light in me that comes from Christ Jesus. You know, I can Vaseline up and lubricate myself to death, but there is no light like the light of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, glory to God. And I'm glad to have it. And he has it for you if you don't already know about it. But I know a lot of you do. I want to give a special shout out today to Selena. She sent me the sweetest message. And Yolanda Stowe. Them some of my girls right there. You just keep on keeping on. God bless you. I love you. But God loves you more. And most. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got to do a praise dance on that. Hey, Jesus. You, my man. Thank you. You can't. Well, you know he can. All right. Ha, 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 ha.